This is lead code remove element. And in this question, we have to remove all the specified val from an input array. For example, we have this input array and our val is three. And we have to remove all of the threes from this array. And we must do it in place. This means we cannot allocate memory for another array and return that one instead. Okay, so this is similar to the remove elements from sorted array algorithm. And the basic idea is that we have two pointers. One pointer goes through the entire array as normal. So it goes through all the elements. And the other pointer points at the place we're going to insert elements that do not match the val. So the insert index is here, zero, and we go to the first element, three. Three matches the value, so we don't do anything. Then we go to the next element, two. Two does not match the value, therefore we insert it at the beginning of the array. So now the array is going to look like this. And now the insert index is one, and now we're on this two here. This two does not match val, therefore we insert it and increment insert index. And finally, we have this array here, and insert index has been incremented to two, and we reach this three, and three does match val, so we don't do anything. And that's it. So now the input array that we have has been mutated and is now two, 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 three. And we return insert index, which is two, which specifies the number of elements that do not match val. And this is O of n time complexity, because we're just going through each element once, and O of one space complexity, because we're not allocating memory for any data structure. Before we get to the code, if you found this helpful so far, please give a like and a subscribe, because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And let's get to the code. Okay, so let's define insert index first of all, and that starts out at zero. Then we loop through the entire array from zero to the length of nums. Now we check if nums at i, which is our current element, if that does not equal the value, then we do our logic. So nums at insert index will now equal nums at i, and we increment insert index by one. At the end, we just return insert index, and that's it. And we got the right answer faster than 76% of Python online submissions. Again, if you found it helpful, please give a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.